Well, we're doing a road trip through northern BC. We've got a snowboarder, Tommy Westcott, and skier, Richard Small, and myself. And uh, we're checking out uh, three different ski areas. Yeah, we got, uh, got invited to be a part of this really cool trip. I'm really excited to be uh, going up to Terrace and Smithers and uh, we're checking out this place called Troll Mountain and uh, doing a little bit of sled skiing outside of Barkerville. This town of Wells here we've just arrived, um, came into is just the, the diamond in the rough. It looks uh, prehistoric, it's almost uh, it's amazing just to, to see such old buildings. It now has a small ski culture, which is uh, quite something. It's, uh, it's kind of a scene without, any, without a scene. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, keep shredding and getting her done. Let her rip. Yeah, Troll Mountain was uh, quite a surprise for all of us, I think. Um, it was built in the 70s, and it's a family, still family-owned hill. Um, the founder has since passed away, but his daughter runs it now. I think he wanted to build it here in Wells, but um, encountered some opposition, and so he went about 30 clicks up the road, and he just built a ski hill. At the bottom, we noticed there was uh, just two T-bars side by side going up into, a, well, as far as the eye could see. The T-bar is almost two kilometers long. It's got about 1,500 vertical feet. It's just a great long T-bar ride. Takes you back into the day, I suppose. The first T-bar was actually built with wooden frames for the towers and Lars, he did this all by hand. All of the um, lodges and the house and everything down there was built by this one man, his work and his um, sweat and tears kind of thing. The feel at Troll Mountain was just super kind of low key, kind of very simple. Not about the money or the condos or anything like that. It was all just like a very family feeling mountain. Yeah, it's got mainly kind of advanced or intermediate to advanced terrain. Nothing super gnarly, but like with the snow conditions that they get, I could see it just being amazing. There's actually a snowboard park and I was uh, reluctant enough to uh, get showing it and ride with all the good rippers there. A lot of local kids were keen to, to come and ski with us and, and uh, go hit some jumps and we, you know found some little kickers and yeah it was really good. They have a nice nice mountain there. I would definitely go back there. That night we went to this little uh, 
film festival here in town and uh, checked out some films and were immediately greeted by some wicked people. Yeah, everyone was really stoked and I don't know, went to the quaint little pub after and had a, had a few brews. Yeah, the people in Wells definitely appreciate and realize what they have uh, at their back door. And it's so good to see that because a lot of times now it's a uh, it's pretty big, big picture in a lot of places and here it's kind of time moves slower and it's the way it should stay for sure. I feel like I come from a place that's pretty laid back and then you come here and it's like, wow, it can even be way more laid back than what I think is laid back. So it's, it's been a good experience. Uh, very peaceful place.